Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. This is the 11th game for today, November 8, 2023. This is the game between Phoenix Suns and Chicago Bulls and that'll happen at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. As we all know, we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Uh, but for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you can actually reach us through Messenger, Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp. Just check on the descriptions of our videos and the details are actually right there. We will be responding to you as soon as we see your queries or your messages. Right, so let's talk about this game. Um, Phoenix Suns, by the way, they have a record of 3 wins and 4 losses. While for Chicago Bulls, they have a record of 3 wins and 5. Chicago Bulls, they would have uh, the, the spread, by the way, is minus 1 and that's given towards Chicago Bulls. I don't really you know, take those kind of spread 1 point. Or 0.5, I don't get that sense. So let's just do money line here, okay? Chicago Bulls, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of momentum, both teams are coming off wins. So uh, we can just skip that part as well as, uh, uh, as, well as fatigue because uh, all teams actually had their rest Tuesday. So let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams for uh, hold up. All right, here we go. For Chicago Bulls, Lonzo Ball, as we all know, is out for the rest of the season. And we have Patrick Williams and Alex Caruso, both listed as probable for this game. All right, so uh, Ball, we all know he's out. Uh, but Williams and Caruso, probable to play for this game. Now, for Phoenix Suns, I see three names listed. And two players are actually confirmed out. Those are David Lee and Devin Booker. They are confirmed out for this game. While we have Bradley Beal listed as questionable for this game because of his back. So two players confirmed out. One is really not having great chances of, of making it in the shooting and playing for this game. And that's Bradley Beal. So in terms of health. Uh, Chicago Bulls would have the advantage over Phoenix. All right now, this one's a bit tricky because um, Phoenix Suns they are coming off that win against Detroit. I guess, I guess that was a fourteen point win or twelve point win. I'm not sure, uh, but again they won. You know that's the point. They won. Uh, they didn't have Beal. You know they did not have Booker, uh, but still they won by double digits. So. Uh, that just goes to show how Phoenix Suns can explode if Durant will actually, you know, get get into his groove, and if he if, and if he will be getting some support from Eric Gordon and you know their bench players. For Chicago Bulls, they are also coming off a win. Um, that was on Monday against Utah Jazz by 17 points. So they're also coming off that huge win. Chicago Bulls. As offensive as Phoenix Suns could, could be, Chicago Bulls can also get into a groove if ever, you know, if ever they, they can actually get those outside shooting or perimeter going, they're going to be very tough to, you know, to stop. But the thing here is that uh, for Phoenix Suns, they would be relying a lot on KD because, again, David Booker is not playing. We ain't even sure if Bradley Beal will be there as well. Um, so next to KD will be Eric Gordon, right? So... It's going to be KD. He's going to be the first option. And KD, because of uh, because of the size and length of Chicago Bulls, KD would also need to be busy and would need to help Phoenix in terms of defending the Bulls because of Levine, because of the Rosen. You know, they even have a... Okay, both both bigs would actually cancel each other out. You know, uh, Vucevic and uh, Nurkic. But for the, for, the, for the wings, for the forwards... You know, KD would need to be busy in, in trying to, you know, in trying to uh, defend as well. So I could still remember my coach in high school saying that if you're, you know, if you're too busy defending, really your offense will be 
you know, no matter no matter how no matter how what you do, your offense will be impacted. So I'm gonna side with Chicago Bulls in here. Um, again, they are at home. They're coming off a win. Um, I feel like uh, Phoenix Suns would would really it would badly need uh, good health so that they can start you know getting into at least five hundred percent mark. Otherwise, they would be you know it, it it would be very hard for them to you know to get into uh, to get into a good good position in the playoffs. So my pick on this one would be Chicago Bulls. I'm I'm gonna just do money line and I expect a lot from Levine and uh, uh from Levine and the Rosen. On this particular game. So my pick would be Chicago. Monday night. Peace out. Pase love. God bless.